What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm back again with another outstanding reaction for you. It's NF Oh Lord off of, you know, Therapy Session, his second album that he did. I'm loving this NF journey. I've learned so much about him. I learned, you know, he can connect with his fans. Every song that he makes has something for his fans and himself. It just get letting you get to know who Nate is. And that's what it's all about. If your um, fans can connect with you, you know, you will make it and succeed as an artist. And, you know, Nate has delivery, flow, lyrics, penmanship, performance. He has all of that. And so without further ado, we're going to get into it. NF. Oh, Lord. Okay, right off the bat, this is something different because normally he starts off with the piano and now he's starting off with like an acoustic guitar. That's a change. Oh my God. So this is going to be something special. This is going to be something special, you know, keeping us entertained, keeping us guessing, keeping us on our feet. Yo, I like that. I like that. All right. When I die, I put my ashes in the trash bag. I don't care where they go. Don't waste your money on my gravestone. I'm more concerned about my soul. Mmm. Wow. That is that is deep. When I die, I put my ashes in the trash bag. I don't care where they go. I'm not concerned about my headstone. I'm only concerned about my soul. Oh man. That's deep. So this is gonna be, right off the bat, I can tell this is like gonna be almost like a telling you about his religion, his faith, which he mentions that in a lot of his songs, and I catch that. But man, all right. Your money on my gravestone. I'm more concerned about my soul. Everybody's gonna die. Don't everybody live though? Sometimes I look up to the sky. I wonder, do you see us down here? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Do you see us down here? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Do you see us down here? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, this is a conversation between him and, uh, and God. That's pretty much what this seems like. Do you see us from up there? Oh, Lord. Hmm. Yes, this is just one of those. This is a conversation between him and his Lord, the him and God. I like that. Oh, this is going to this is going to be powerful. This is going to be. And the little not a little but the echo that echoes exactly what he said. Oh, Lord, it just, you know, neither one of them, his voice sits right on on the strings. It's not overpowering the strings. The strings are not overpowering him. It's just a graceful graceful connection between the two you know oh Lord, do you see us down here oh Lord. oh Lord. listen yeah everybody wants change don't nobody want to change though don't nobody want to pray till they got something to pray for mm. everybody wants change but Nobody wants to change. Wow. That's crazy. You know, and you want to change. You want change. You want change to come, but you yourself don't want to change. That's what he's saying. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stop it there, but I found that interesting. That was just like connected with that part right there. Don't nobody want to pray. Tell they got something to pray for. Oh, and nobody want to pray until they got something to pray for. You know, everybody want to sin, and then they want to pray, ask the Lord for forgiveness. Mm. Everybody's gone down, but don't everybody live though? Sometimes I look up to the sky and wonder, do you see us down here? Oh, Lord. Oh, 
thought the strings disappeared, but they're sitting in the background of the drums the, and the little DJ table, like the little mix. You know, and you can hear the panning left and right, but the strings are just sitting right there softly in between all that. You can still recognize that they're, they, that they're there. Wow. The production on his music is phenomenal. Like, wow. His producer is amazing. You know, they complement one another. M NF and his producer. You know. Wow. Oh, Lord. It's easy to blame God, but harder to fix things. We look in the skylight, why ain't you listening? Watching the news in our living rooms on the big screens and talking about if God's really real and where is he? You see the same God that we're saying might not even exist becomes real to us, but only when we're dying in bed. When you're healthy... Mm, he might not exist, but he exists when you're dying in bed. Yo, you know, that's when people realize they become... Not everyone... But a lot of people, they don't believe in God until something bad happens. And he's bringing that to the forefront. Like, yo, you only want him or you only need him when something bad is happening to you. Not when things are going good for you. It's like we don't really care for him then. Leave me alone, God. I'll call you when I need you again. Which is funny. Everyone who's sleeping appears to blame God for our problems like he's sleeping on you. We turn our backs on him. What do you expect him to do? It's hard to answer prayers when nobody's praying to you. I look around at this world we walk on. It's a smack in the face. Don't ever tell me there's no God. And if there isn't, then what are we here for? And what are y'all doing down there? I don't know, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Asked the question, what are we doing down here? And then he answered for God, I don't know. Well, he answered for God. He said, I don't know, Lord. What are we doing? And they just introduced it like a little synth in the back to complement the strings. Um, and it's like, what? Yo. Wow. Like, that is amazing. You know, I mean, he's bringing awareness to Christian rap, Christian hip hop, you know. And I know when I was going to church and Christian rap first started, the church was really against it. Like, rapping in doesn't go with the church. That's how it was seen. Like, oh, you're a rapper? Are you rapping about Christian music? No. And people gave you that look. And now it's becoming more commonly uh, accepted amongst churchgoers because they know there's different ways to praise the Lord. And NF is, you know, he's, uh, oh, man, I'm getting tongue-tied. I'm, like, getting brain lapses. And, you know, he's a forefather, he, you know. Oh man, forget it. Ah, sorry. But yeah, M NF is one of those reasons why Christian rap is so popular. There are other Christian artists out there that are doing the same thing, but not on as a bigger sta stage as NF. And this journey, every song opens the door to more insight on NF. And I like that. I like that. I'm enjoying it. And I appreciate you guys for sticking around with me as I go through this journey. And I'll see you in the next video. Also, you know what to do. If you like it, hit the like button. Hit the sub. Follow me. I'm continuing this journey. Let's go. Let's ride together. Peace and love, everyone.